Welcome to this episode of the Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Happy Marvelous Magnificent Monday. Today is October 21st. Hello, I'm Ariana. And hello, I'm Sophia. So we're Sycamore Junior High. Be safe. Be responsible. Be respectful. And be a problem solver. Thank you for doing the right thing and making good choices. Now it is time where we all stand for with our fellow aviators and place our, our hands over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. You are all marvelous, magnificent individuals. Keep being marvelous, you, and making this a great place to work and learn. Be respectful and remember to check your emails, people. You know your important emails and delete the old ones. Today's tip from the counselors. Keep up homework. Balancing assignments can sometimes feel overwhelming. But with a few strategies and tips, students can manage to work more efficiently and reduce stress. Here's how. Today's tip, seek when needed. Seek when needed. Students ask for help when you're struggling with a concept or assignment, whether it's a teacher, classmate, tutor, seeking assistance early can prevent problems from escalating and preventing progress and may help maintain progress. Yes, seek help when needed. Thanks, counselor, for another great tip, homework tip. Okay, it's clubs and activities time. It's closing activities announcements time! All 7th and 8th grade boys interested in playing basketball should attend a meeting in the auxiliary gym this Wednesday, October 23rd during flex. All 7th and 8th grade boys and girls tennis players, even those who did not play on the school team, should plan on attending a meeting in the auxiliary gym with Coach Teets. This meeting will be Thursday, October 24th during flex. We the people! We the People is an academic club for Sycamore Junior High School students which teaches the history and principles of the American constitutional democracy while promoting students' understanding of government. Students learn about the importance and influence of the United States Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Club members will compete at the 2025 Middle School We the People Showcase in Columbus. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, November 5th at 7.15 a.m. in Junior High Room 2151s. Club sponsors are Mr. Guttermuth and Mr. Brenner, if you have any questions. Now we have special announcements from some of our GMC champions. Hi, Hi we are the GMC, GMC champion, champion girls, girls golf team. The Sycamore girls golf team had a great season. We went undefeated in our regular season matches with a record of 9-0. We also closed the season on a high note with a comfortable first place finish at the GMC championship. While Savannah Blackmore led us to victory by shooting an impressive low score of three under, it was a total team effort where we shot the lowest combined score in GMC history. Each girl on our team saw much improvement throughout the season, which was made possible by our coach, Paul Alexander. Coach, coach Alexander has been coaching here at Sycamore for over 50 years, and his efforts and dedication to our team were truly remarkable. We, are, we were very fortunate to have him as our coach and to be on such a high-achieving team. Hi, we are the GMC champion 8th grade volleyball team. Our 8th grade gold volleyball team won GMCs on October 10th against a very strong rebel team, Mason White. We finished our overall season with a 20-1 record. Throughout the season, we were focused on keeping a strong mindset with a lot of mental toughness. This attitude helped us get to the spot that we've been visualizing since the beginning of the season. On average, we held our opponents to a 16-point average, making sure to stay scrappy, which kept both of our defense and offense strong. This took us to a regular season record of 17-1. We were the third seed in the GMC tournament behind the two undefeated teams of the league, Mason Green and Liberty. After our first couple of wins of the tournament against Delhi and Ridge, we had to face the two-seed team Liberty, who we didn't get a chance to play prior to the tournament. We came out strong with lots of energy and defeated Liberty in two sets. Mason Green was taken out of the tournament by another Mason team. Mason White was the only thing standing between us and the championship win. Despite a rough start of a 25-17 loss, we came back and won the next two sets, 25-20 and 25-21. 
We would like to thank our coaches, Tony and Seisho, along with all of our Sycamore Aves supporters. Go! Way to go, Junior High! Keep doing great things! Well, that's all we have for today! Back, Back to, to our, our crew. crew! Now over to our crew for more announcements. Hey, Sycamore Junior High, Lily here. And Robert here, with some additional club and activity announcements. Power of the Pen. There will be no Power of the Pen practice this Friday due to the conferences and no school for students. Hey, have you seen the Lost and Found lately? Bob, an evildoer, has an army. This army is very powerful if we don't stop it this week. So, how do we stop it, you ask? Let's start by the water bottles, otherwise known as Bob's Army. Stop these water bottles from taking over the school by collecting them and claiming yours as your own. Take it back. Now, let's get into how we can stop it even more. Bob has an army, and he has defense. These defense is very powerful, and we must stop it. So claim your lunchbox. It's just an easy thing. One of our final steps to stopping this is to get rid of all the disguises they can use. These disguises will be very powerful if not stopped by us. If we don't stop them, Bob will take over the school. Let's stop them. Collect your shoes. How do you even walk around in the school? Just collect them. Come save your stuff and get it before Bob's army takes it over on Thursday. Back to our crew. If you are missing any belongings, please check the lost and found for your missing items. All unclaimed items will be donated to a local charity at the end of this week. Thanks. Back to our crew. Over to our wonderful student council for some more positive messages. One of the fun activities we have at school is sports. I'm going to talk to someone about what sports are So I play soccer. I love soccer and it's been a big part of my life ever since I was little because I've been playing for eight years and it's just been a big part of my life. I love kicking stuff, so, and I also love running, so it's really good to help me get and I think it's going to be a big part of other people's lives that I enjoy. Many people, school can be a negative and overall boring experience. Shocking fact, there are actually some good things about school. And today, we're going to show you... Soccer, theater, volleyball, and, and of course, course, student council. So now you know that school can be fun. Think about the bright side of things. And if you need any help, just ask a trusted friend and adult. And, and remember, go A's! Thanks, student council. Next, birthdays! Happy birthday to students celebrating today. Sharif A. Benjamin C. Sharish S. And Ethan X. Have a great day celebrating your special day. Next up, joke, joke of the day! Why didn't the skeleton dance at the party? I don't know why. He had nobody to dance with. Ha 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 ha! Well, yeah. that's all we have today. Enjoy your day. Yeah. Make positive PBIS cho choices. Open your mind to learning, meet a new friend, and, and go A's!